If you're traveling and you're looking to set up a SIM card for when you arrive at your destination, there's two ways you can do it. You can either go to the local mobility shop and activate that, or you can use what's called an eSIM. If you have a newer phone, uh, you can uh, just get an eSIM. You purchase basically uh, a plan through an app, and that gives you the ability to have a certain amount of data for a certain price. And uh, so that's what I opted to do for my trip. And the eSIM company that I'm talking about today is a company called Airalo. This is not sponsored by them and this is just purely, I'm telling you guys how to set it up and what my experience was like with this company. And so I ended up getting the European package. If you're staying in one country, it is cheaper to just buy a data package for that country, which I'll show you guys the prices over here. Uh, but if you anticipate that you might be traveling outside of that country, especially in Europe, everything is so close, then you might uh, want to get the package where you'll just have data all throughout Europe. Now this doesn't give you a telephone number, so you won't be able to make phone calls with it. But in this day and age, I mean, more than likely you're just looking to uh, chat with your friends. So you can do that like Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and things like that. And I even found when booking hotels, uh, a lot of the uh, Airbnbs uh, especially, they would actually have their uh, phone number usable in WhatsApp in case you needed to contact them. So I really didn't have a need for uh, using a phone number the entire three weeks that I was in Europe. Now, what I opted for was the uh, European SIM, which was $30 for three gigs of data. Uh, it ran down to about 400 megs with about three or four days left. So I topped it up with an additional gig for $7, which is also something that you can do. Uh, to set it up is really easy. When you arrive at the airport, just connect to the airport Wi-Fi. To set this up in your phone, you go to connections, SIM manager, add mobile plan, and then you uh, it'll come up with a QR code, but there's a little link at the bottom there where you can uh, add your activation code. And uh, if you open up the Aerolo app, which is what I used uh, for my eSIM, that will show you when you click on the manual tab, it'll show you what your activation code is and you can copy paste that into this spot over here. And then the next thing that you have to do is actually set up the data portion, which is super easy. First thing you wanna do is actually go back to the SIM manager section that you were just in, turn off your existing SIM card so that you're not actually using that. Uh, if uh, for whatever reason you don't have coverage for the eSIM, it'll switch to that as a secondary. So you wanna turn that off. You wanna make sure that you turn your data roaming on if it's not on because without that, uh, because without that, uh, the data is just not going to work on the eSIM. With your primary SIM now turned off, you don't have to worry about any kind of data overages on your uh, regular mobile plan at home as you're gonna be purely using the eSIM this way. Now next up, you're gonna go into your settings. You're gonna go to mobile networks. Then you're gonna click on access point names. You click on the plus sign and there is a, uh, there's an Aerolo APN that it says that you need to put in here. You can, you can copy paste that right out of the Aerolo app. Uh, you put that APN in there and you don't have to worry about the rest of the settings. There's a whole bunch of things that you can give it a name. I gave mine the name of Aerolo. You don't have to do anything else. So there's like 20 other things that you can potentially fill out. You don't have to worry about any of those. You just put the APN in and you hit save. And then on the Aerolo app, there will be an option to activate your eSIM once you've done all of that. Uh, right on the main page, uh, I can't show you guys that right now because mine's already activated, but trust me, it's there. Uh, you just right on the main page, it'll say install eSIM and you do that and then all of a sudden your, your internet works. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about my experience with the Aerolo eSIM 2. Uh, this is not sponsored by them in any way. There's no link in the description for you guys to buy it that pays me money. It's just an app that you can go to any of the app stores and, and get, it's, it's spelled A, it's spelled A-I-R-L-O, and, and that, that will get you to that. The experience that I had with this is amazing. I never, I never had a time where I didn't have internet uh, with the network operator set to automatic. It always automatically switched to the best network provider for me. There was even a time where my uncle was driving us on the highway and I had a video chat on Facebook with my girlfriend and it wasn't cutting out. The picture quality was great. I just had a really amazing experience with this and I'm really happy that this is one that, that I decided to go with. Now this video is sponsored by Filebuck. If you're looking to purchase some really comfortable men's apparel like t-shirts, sweaters, and jeans, in addition to the amazing sales that they sometimes have, you can get an extra 20% off using my discount code TIB20. I'll put a link in the description for that below in case you're looking to purchase today. 
I also want to mention that when it comes to your arrival, when you come back to uh, your home country, what you'll want to do is you want to reactivate your primary SIM card in SIM Manager, disable the, the eSIM, and then at that point, you're going to have to restart your phone. And then once you do that, you are uh, immediately able to use your data package at home and start texting your loved ones. Uh, I hope you found this video informative. Uh, next up, you should definitely check out one of the two videos on your screen. It's going to change your life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.